Welcome to this screencast. Um, we will be looking at superiority and equivalence trials. And these are two different kind of trials. For superiority trials, it basically aims at uh, seeking to establish that one treatment is better than the other. Actually, it comes from the word superior. And uh, when the trial is designed, the sample size is set so that there is a very high statistical power to detect a clinically meaningful difference between the, the two treatments. So for such a, a trial, a statistically significant result is interpreted as showing that one treatment is more effective than the other treatment. For equivalence trials from the word equivalent, it is seeks to test if a new treatment is similar in effectiveness to an existing treatment. And uh, it's appropriate if the new treatment has certain benefits, such as uh, fewer side effects, being easier to use, or being even cheaper in terms of cost. And the trial is designed to be able to demonstrate that within uh, given acceptable limits, the two treatments are equally effective. So equivalence um, is a preset maximum difference between uh, treatments such that if the observed difference is less than uh, that uh, number, the two treatments are usually regarded as equivalent. So the limits of equivalence needs to be set to be appropriate clinically. And the tighter the limits of equivalence set, the larger the sample size that will be required. So if the condition under the investigation is serious, then tighter limits for equivalence are likely to be needed than if the condition is less serious. And the calculated sample size tends to be bigger for equivalence trials than superiority trials. Uh, uh, we will look at uh, non-inferiority uh, trials, which is a very special case of the equivalence trial where the researchers only want to establish if a treatment is no worse than uh, an existing treatment. So uh, it's um, working uh, from the other end because uh, its only main aim is to establish if the new treatment is no worse. So in this situation, the analysis is by nature one-sided, uh, and that basically means that it's usually a t-test. So the practicalities in this case is uh, the design and implementation of equivalence trial is usually less straightforward than the superiority trials. And if patients are lost to follow up or fail to comply with the trial protocol, then any differences between the treatments is likely to be reduced. And so equivalence may be incorrectly inferred. And it is especially important that uh, equivalence trials uh, need very strict management and good patient follow-up uh, so that uh, issues on uh, loss due to follow-up are minimized. And it is also often very helpful to include a secondary analysis where subjects are analyzed according to the treatment they actually received. And uh, with this, uh, it's specific to the per protocol analysis. So... We have maybe two examples, two quick examples of superiority and equivalence trial. Uh, if a researcher maybe has a research question that goes like, uh, uh, is atovastatin more effective at reducing blood cholesterol levels than uh, simvastatin? That, of course, uh, because of the word more effective, it makes it a superiority trial. And um, are angiotensin receptor blockers are commonly referred to as the valacetam as effective at reducing blood pressure in hypertensive patients um, as converting enzyme SE inhibitors. Um, and because of the word as effective as, this of course uh, makes it an equivalence trial. So some quick points to note about both the superiority and equivalence trials is that it is important to di distinguish between these two, the superiority and equivalence when designing a trial. And the choice depends on the purpose of the trial itself. And a trial designed for one purpose may not be able to adequately fulfill the other. And in general, equivalence trials tend to be 
and uh, tend to need uh, larger samples and lastly a trial designed to test superiority is unlikely to be able to draw the firm conclusion that the true treatments the two treatments are uh, will which are not significantly different can be regarded as equivalent and uh, we will come back to both the superiority and the equivalence uh, trials in later screencast and uh, thank you for uh, participating in this uh, Let's meet uh, in the next screencast. Thank you.